Hey, Scentsy fans, it's Sarah from Scentsy with Sarah Lynn. I'm bringing you a bit of a different video right now. If you're new to my channel, welcome, stick around. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, welcome back. If you caught my first D-Stash, Scentsy D-Stash video, you'll understand a little bit of a history of how I came into these bars. To give you the short and skinny of it, as consultants, we are not allowed to advertise that we have inventory. It's just against compliance. And some people think, well, that's stupid. No, really, it's not, because it keeps us all on the same playing field, right? Perhaps one consultant has an expendable amount, like $20,000, that she could just spend on stock. Great for her, but... Not every consultant has that kind of spare change hanging around, nor even if I did, would I want to spend $20,000 on inventory when Sensi changes it up so often. So there's definitely pros to having a bit of coin sitting around for stock to be able to do vendor events, but not every Sensi consultant wants to do vendor events. Some Sensi consultants are super successful. All they want to do is home parties. Some Scentsy consultants like myself love working online in their Beavis and Butthead pajamas like me. You know, each to their own, but Scentsy compliance and the Scentsy Standard Act really just lays the rules down for everyone, creates a fair level playing ground for everyone, regardless of how little or how much you have to invest in your business, you can still be successful because of the compliance rules. So, if you are a Sensi consultant and you find yourself with a boatload of stock and you have decided to move on to other things, what do you do with your stock? Well, I do see a lot of Sensi sisters who decide to get out of way or away from Sensi on pages like eBay, Kijiji, you name it. I hate you. I hate you. Sorry, like, I understand you do need to recoup some of the money that you've invested. But at the same time, you make it really hard for consultants like myself, who are, we're busting our asses trying to make a name for ourselves or trying to grow a business when you're selling on like Kijiji and eBay and Shortcut and the rest of us who are still very much in the game, right? So I was contacted by a consultant in the United States who wanted to move some of her inventory so she could move on to other things. Great. I love the fact that she came directly to a consultant or she kind of had an idea that I was doing vendor events and had a bunch of Christmas shows coming up. So of course I need stock at Christmas time. I'm not going to say no, especially to some amazing retired scents that I want to try out for myself. There's some current stuff that came to me. Oh, but lesson learned, there was a lot of garbage that came in that box. And I would have been okay with it if she was like, hey, there's a lot of damages in here, but I threw these in free of charge so you can melt the wax down and make samples. Like at no point in our communications did she tell me that she shit all over these and ran over them with her car. But... It is what it is, lesson learned. Now I know I won't buy anything sight unseen from somebody that I don't absolutely trust. Lesson learned, right? But I don't fully regret it because if you watched the first video of my Sensi D stash, I got a lot of really good stuff. I am just going to highlight some of the bad stuff. And there is about 28 to 30 pretty bad ones. So I'm just going to show you my idea of bad. And she fully knew that I was hoping to integrate this into my stock to move for my vendor events or the retired ones just to use myself. But this is an example of a bar that I received. And at first I'm like, well, maybe it got messed up in shipping, but see the sticker and this is actually, and again, my camera sucks, been taped and mashed to hell. And there's like scotch tape and complete with greasy fingerprints, like one of these bars melted all over the other one. Uh, this is dog hair or a cat, I'm not sure which one. 
The fragrance is Pacific Daydream, though. Smells pretty good. Smells like the ocean. Beachy, nice. Like, <laughs> the wax itself on this bar is in pretty fair condition. So, I will let you know what I'm going to do with this in the near future, but certainly not take it to a vendor event. Like, can you imagine selling that to a customer? I don't know about you, but I have pretty pristine and like quality expectations. If I take anything to a vendor event, it has to look exactly like it did when it left Sensi's warehouse. If it is not good enough by Sensi standards, it's certainly not good enough by Sarah's standards to have my name on it, my business card attached to it, and be on one of my tables or displays in an event. So I don't know if that's common for Sensi consultants to keep stock like that, or maybe this has been rolling around in her trade show things for a couple years, but why the hell would you send that to me or charge me for that? That's garbage. Uh, another bad example, and I was super excited about this one. Oh, this is rich. This is a pre-melted apple s'mores bar. Smashed all to hell. My favorite. I paid for this. Disgusting. It like melted maybe in her car after she ran it over a couple times. <laughs> awesome, okay? This is lesson 101 for consultants out there. Be careful if you agree to help somebody out when they're making a transition away from Sensi. Uh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Hey, idiot, don't buy anything sight unseen. It is what it is. Also, I don't know if this girl was taking these to vendor events, but if you're a customer and there's going to be tons of Christmas shows coming up, when you're at a vendor event and you would approach a Sensi table, for me anyways, I have no problem as long as people are gently touching my stuff because it still belongs to me until you've paid for it. I have no problem letting people smell my bars. I bring testers along for fragrances that I don't have in my inventory, but I have a display and they pick up the clamshells gently. Like if I see it, some really snotty, dirty, ice cream sucking, aggressive kid all over my business, I will distract said child while mom finishes shopping and I try to keep sticky, disgusting nastiness away from my product. Because again, I want my customers to leave with something that meets Sensi standards. If it doesn't leave the warehouse, in perfect condition, it's not going to leave my table in less than perfect condition. Uh, the next one, oh, speaking of melted bars, is Scentsy's Country Plum. Look at this one, melted and ran right out of the clamshell. That's nice, eh? <laughs> what the hell would you charge me for this for? I can't sell that. Actually, I found my first video, I didn't like the scent Country Plum, but maybe because it's pre-melted. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, just gross. Um, Frosted White Birch, that one is the chalk full of cat hair. Love it. And it too is sweat to high hell. Me doesn't look like it completely melted like some of the other ones. But this smells really nice, and I'm a little pissy that I didn't pick this up when it was on the clearance tab. Uh, cotton candy cookie. That's another one that was really nicely pre-melted for me and sent to me in a smashy, smashed up cat hair filled clam. Love it. Oh, oh, what else do we have? Oh, summer sunset. Another scotch tape. Ran over by transport truck jobby. I love it. Cat hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and more scotch tape. Yeah. This is awesome. So these are just a couple examples. Just a few. Um, <laughs> and I'm sitting here like my floor is covered in them. There's more. There's a lot more. But I'm just showing you. This is what the average damaged Sensi Bar looked like in my D-stash. So I'm racking my brain like, 
excuse my language, but what in the Sam's hell am I going to do with these fucking things? Can't sell them. Do I want to try some of the fragrances? Yes. But if the waxes have sat at shitty temperatures, melted, and then hardened again, I don't know if they'll be any good. Like, can't sample these down and give them out to customers because these are retired fragrances. And, I mean, each to their own. Every scentsy consultant has their own way of doing things, and that's fine. I don't give out retired scents as samples because, say, if I'm cold calling and I hit a neighborhood, hand out 300 samples and flyers, and some of the scents I hand out are retired, I'm going to get phone calls that say, hey, I love this sample. I got frosted white birch. I want to place an order for 10. Well, that's useless because it's not available anymore. So I only hand out current samples, um, which means I pay for them. And that is one of many ways that I reinvest into my business on a monthly basis. It's just an expense of being a Scentsy consultant, and that's cool. Um, if you have any creative ideas as to what I could do with about 10 pounds of waxed in less than savvy conditions, <laughs> comment down below because I want to get creative with this, okay? Like, I have a lot of really cool subscri <laughs> subscribers, people who drop by my channel. I'm sure you ladies or even gentlemen <laughs> can come up with some awesome suggestions. Um, the wax in here might be salvageable. Certainly not the packaging, and I will have my work cut out with for me getting the cat hair out. <laughs> but I'm game. I'm t I mean, I already paid for it, so I might as well do something with it. The first idea that I did have is I want to start doing a new series called Sensi's Throwback Thursday. So why not start with some of these damages? So this week... Um, and it's Friday, so I'm going to hopefully upload this video no later than Sunday, hopefully. What I will do every week is every Sunday I will read out a couple retired Scentsy fragrances and then comment down below. The first person to comment gets the pick. So this week the choices are between Scentsy's Roadkill Summer Sunset Uh, pre-melted and re-hardened drippy country plum, scotch tape, cat hair delight, dirty bird Pacific daydream, or what else can we do? Oh, roadkill coconut pumpkin pie. <laughs> So the first one to comment down below out of those four choices gets to pick this week Scentsy's Throwback Thursday. Oh, wait. Coconut pumpkin pie can't be in it. That's a current fragrance. Okay. So you get a choice between these three. Summer Sunset, Country Plum, and Pacific Daydream. I don't know what we'll do with that coconut pumpkin pie. Scent scores, maybe. Who knows? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, smash the bell for future content notification, and please let this be a lesson of what not to do. Bye for now.